Hi, everybody. This week, my book is called The Cow That Laid an Egg. It's by Andy Cutbill, and the illustrator is Russell Ato. I really like this book. Um, one reason is that the cow in this story is named Marjorie, and that's my daughter's name. So I think it's a really funny story. I hope you like it. The Cow That Laid an Egg by Andy Cutbill. This is the other thing I really like about this story. Look how silly she looks with those big eyes. And I like how the chickens are always walking around with their legs sticking straight out. Marjorie the cow felt down in the dumps. What's wrong, Marge? Clucked the chickens. I don't feel special, said Marjorie. I can't ride bicycles and do handstands like the other cows. I just feel so ordinary. Look at all the cows over there. They're doing handstands and riding bicycles. But Marjorie can't do that. That night, the chickens hatched a cunning plan. Cluck, 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 cluck. Cluck, 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 they whispered. The following morning, there was an almighty commotion in the barnyard. I've laid an egg, shrieked Marjorie. All of the other cows were astonished. None of them had ever laid an egg before. See the egg right there? It's got spots like a cow. See it? Even the farmer came running. Oh, my goodness. He cried, Marjorie's laid an egg. The farmer's wife called the local newspaper. People came from far and wide. We're extremely proud of Marjorie, announced the farmer to the crowd. Look at their big smiles. Marjorie felt much more special now, and the chickens were as pleased as Punch, too. Look, she's taking her egg for a walk in the wheelbarrow. But the other cows weren't so happy. Our bicycle riding and handstands feel rather ordinary now. Something funny is going on. Cows don't lay eggs. Chickens lay eggs. They're reading the newspaper here, and it's called Moose of the World. And the headline says, Extraordinary. We don't think you laid that egg, the cow said to Marjorie. We think the crafty chickens did it. Marjorie felt shocked. Prove it, said the chickens. So they all waited for the egg to hatch. Day after day, they watched as Marjorie sat on the egg to keep it warm, but nothing happened. Until suddenly one morning, they heard a noise. Tap, tap, tap. Here it comes, shouted one of the cows. As Marjorie stood up, oh, there's the egg. It says tap, tap, tap. The egg cracked open and out hopped a small brown feathery bundle. There, said one of the cows nodding, a chicken. Suddenly the tiny creature looked up at Marjorie. Moo! Look how big that little baby chicken's mouth is. But it's saying moo, it said loudly. Marjorie smiled and held her baby tight. A cow, she said. And she promptly named it Daisy. That is the end of my book about Marjorie the cow. I hope you liked it.